Are you considering moving to Port St. Lucie, Florida? Curious to know some of the highlights of this city while also getting a realistic understanding of the negatives? In this video, I'm gonna outline what I believe to be the biggest reasons why someone might want to live in Port St. Lucie, Florida, and also why they may want to avoid it. Hi, I'm Rachel Carroll and I run a real estate team here in the space in Treasure Coast of Florida, all the way from Brevard County to Martin County. I've lived here for the better part of 10 years and I've sold real estate for just as long right here in this beautiful paradise. Though I don't reside in Port St. Lucie specifically, I do frequent the area and we do sell homes there every day. I actually had my second son right there in the tradition Cleveland Clinic Hospital and it was a really wonderful experience. So anyways, we have the privilege of helping hundreds, close to thousands of families buy and sell real estate. If at any point you want to pick my brain, please get in touch. All of our contact information is in the description below. Okay, let's jump right into it. Here are the pros of living in Port St. Lucie, Florida. Number one, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful here. Port St. Lucie, Florida is in the tropics. It is officially a tropical city here in Florida along the Atlantic coast. If you're in Port St. Lucie driving around, you're gonna find tropical trees, tropical flowers. You're gonna see tropical birds. It's really um, such a beautiful and sunny place to live. The city also does a really great job of maintaining the area. It's clean, it's a clean city. It's well-kept, it's pretty manicured all throughout. Um, and overall, it's a really pretty place to live. All right, the second pro is that there's lots to do in terms of outdoor activities. I've got a video for you actually all about the actor, outdoor activities to do in Port St. Lucie. You can click it right up there. All right, next, there's a ton of shopping. There's a ton of restaurants. There's great nightlife, and there's always live music um, to be found and to be listened to in Port St. Lucie. You're not going to be bored here. There's lots to do. There's uh, chain shopping, chain restaurants. There's mom and pop shopping. There's mom and pop restaurants, boutiques, um, all kinds of stuff to do in Port St. Lucie. It's all available for you there. You're really not going to have to venture outside of the city. Um, most likely to find what you're looking for or what you need. Next, Port St. Lucie really has some great housing prices. You're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck um, if you purchase a house in Port St. Lucie. So our medium price uh, for a home today in Port St. Lucie is going to be around four hundred dollars to $450,000. Now we are in 20, the beginning of 2023 right now when I'm making this video, but um, compared to the surrounding areas, Port St. Lucie has a very affordable um, housing market. So you're going to get a large for that price. You're going to get a large size home on a standard size lot in a nice neighborhood. All right, Port St. Lucie is also a very family friendly city. Port St. Lucie has a lot of different things for families in terms of activities. They've got trampoline parks. Just down the way, there's a water park in Jensen Beach. Um, they've got farmer's markets. They've got all kinds of activities that you can take your kids to and do in Port St. Lucie. Um, you can go golfing at the PGA Village with your family. They do have like a six hole option for families. It's a very family centric city. Uh, you've got some really great public school options as well. So I would say uh, Port St. Lucie is a family friendly, family centric city. There's plenty of places to shop for things for kids, kids necessities, etc. Another pro that I want to share with you about Port St. Lucie is that it's got an expanding job market, which is pretty exciting. There's lots of companies that are taking advantage of Florida's uh, pretty lenient tax codes. Um, they're establishing hubs in St. Lucie County specifically, bringing a lot of jobs. I think they've added somewhat, somewhere upwards of like 10,000 jobs in the last four years just to the St. Lucie County and Port St. Lucie um, focused area. So there's a lot of potential jobs coming to Port St. Lucie and there's still a lot of room for growth. So that's pretty exciting. 
Port St. Lucie also features a pretty extensive healthcare network. As I mentioned uh, before, I had my child at the Cleveland Clinic in Tradition right there in Port St. Lucie. It was a really wonderful experience. It was a really lovely uh, facility and you're gonna find pretty much that throughout the Port St. Lucie area. Um, they've got a rapidly expanding medical industry all the way from primary care doctors to specialists, uh, to surgery centers, to emergency services. So if that's something that is a priority for you to be in proximity to or a very short driving distance to, you're gonna find that right there in Port St. Lucie. Again, they've got a really, um, well done healthcare network right there. All right, so those are all my pros. Uh, really, there's a lot of wonderful things about the Port St. Lucie area. Um, those are just really my main talking points, the things that I wanna highlight to anybody who's not already familiar with the area. If there's any that you know of, that if you're familiar with Port St. Lucie that I didn't touch on, leave them in the comments below for everybody else who is watching this video. And now I wanna switch gears for a second and I wanna, um, you know, kind of lay it out straight for you. So let's talk about the cons of Port St. Lucie. What are the, some of the things that you're gonna have to deal with if you live here that may be less than ideal? Okay, let's talk about the traffic. So Port St. Lucie, believe it or not, is the eighth most populated city in Florida. It's kind of hard to believe, but Port St. Lucie comes with traffic for sure. All right, it's not gonna be Miami traffic, it's not gonna be Boca or West Palm Beach traffic, but it is traffic all the same. Um, so that is one of the things that you want to account for uh, when you're thinking about like, lifestyle choices. Um, if you are moving into the area, is traffic something that you're gonna be able to put up with on a daily basis, especially during going to work and getting off of work times rush hour. So that's one of the things that you really wanna consider. Um, the next con is going to be that Port St. Lucie really feels less local. And what I mean by less local is um, it does have some neighboring uh, towns and cities around it that are smaller, but they feel more like of a hometown uh, vibe. So Port St. Lucie is not going to have that same vibe. You've got a lot of seasonal owners. You've got a lot of what we call snowbirds here in Florida. They, they come and go different times of the year. Um, you've got a lot of people who are transplants, so they're not originally from Florida. They're from anywhere else. Uh, so Port St. Lucie is going to feel a lot less local. And if that's really not something that's important to you, then it's completely a non-issue. Um, if you're looking for like a smaller, more hometown, more, um, you know, everybody knows their neighbor kind of feel, Port St. Lucie might not be the best choice for you. Okay, let's talk property taxes. So Port St. Lucie is a pretty city. It is a clean city compared to some of the others that you'll find in the state. Um, but you know, you are gonna pay for that in your property taxes. Compared to some of its neighboring counties, St. Lucie County's taxes are slightly elevated, right? So even though that you're gonna get a great price for your home, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of home size and home price, you will pay for it a little bit in the taxes, it's a yin and a yang. So that's one of the things that you wanna be sure that you're investigating if you're looking in the area or if you're looking at purchasing a particular property. Um, do your homework on what the property taxes are gonna run you and speak with your lender on how much that's gonna change your mortgage payment and really do your homework there. One of the things that I think you should also realize about Port St. Lucie is unless you are a specialist or you own your own business or you work, let's say, in the medical field, um, you may have to deal with lower paying jobs and lower wages in Port St. Lucie. It is a very service-based um, area. I think Florida in general, you could argue, is quite service-based because we have so much tourism and uh, seasonality to us. But uh, Port St. Lucie, one of the things that you should know is that there isn't an abundance of different kinds of jobs like you'll find in let's say 
Boca Raton or West Palm Beach. So you're gonna be dealing with uh, some of the lower paying service-based options, potentially, depending on what field you're in and depending on what you do for a living. But it is something that you should definitely look into before you make the move here if you're not here already. And last but not least, my last negative for Port St. Lucie is that, yes, even though uh, geographically, when you look at it on a map, it is nestled along the Atlantic coast. It does take a, a little bit to drive to the beach. So I would say it's far, air quotes, it's far from the beach, okay? It's not gonna be as close as Vero Beach where you can get to the beach within 15 minutes, okay? Port St. Lucie is set in on the mainland. There is an island portion of St. Lucie County, um, which is like Hutchinson Island and you know Jensen Beach and all of that stuff. But main Port St. Lucie is set um, west on the mainland. So it is a little bit of a haul to get to the beach if you do live there. It's really not, maybe a 30 minute drive, maybe, like if you hit traffic, it's really not that bad, it's not that significant, but you can't walk to the beach, that's all I'm trying to say. So that's my last con. Um, me personally, I'm partial to it because I live here and I love this area here at the Treasure Coast. I think the pros well outweigh the cons, um, but that's something that you're gonna have to determine for yourself and do a little bit of homework, and I hope that this video is helpful to you. So, if you're looking for more information about Port St. Lucie or you're interested in moving to the area and you have happened upon this video, um, again, if this information is helpful to you, give us a call because it's just the tip of the iceberg in terms of what we can provide you um, and advise you on. And we pride ourselves on our high level client care. You can always check out my other videos on this channel and I also have a playlist all about uh, Port St. Lucie with all of that great information. You can also check us out on Google, the Carroll Home Team Vero Beach Realtors and check out our over 150 five-star reviews. We're really proud of them. So calling us does not obligate you to buy a home or even work with us, but it does start you in the right direction for finding your right home here. And getting connected to a team of excellent, highly motivated, full-time realtors who strive for excellence in what we do. So give us a call and go on and click that subscribe button before you forget.